Buddy Jaws Jr. here for a Rock County adventure of a different take. This adventure takes us into Malheur County. And this bag represents some of what we picked up today. But, yes, I am on next to a busy road here, the Mobile Command Center. But we were having weather issues. So let me take you back and show you what we were dealing with. And it was pretty windy out there today. Not only was the wind blowing, but we had just some other stuff going on. But let me take you up here and show you this little walk around I did. Now that walk around complete, that was fun. I truly enjoyed that. Now this walk around, right alongside the road. Picking up all kinds of agate. It's a real beautiful material here. I just was enjoying myself.
as you can tell, it started to rain. Not much fun. Especially where we are at. The mud turns like grease. It is very slick. wind is eased up. So as you can tell, I'm picking up a lot of material. A lot of stuff to go into the tumbler. And as you can tell, very close to the road. So here, wow, just take a look at this here. See the mud flying off the tires. And hopefully I got the shot. Definitely a real greasy road. And that was only about a half hour of rain. Just imagine what it would have been like after about two or three hours. But it's a good thing that we are in this uh, Suburban that we have. Now let me show you what it looked like before we headed up on the road. I spent probably a half hour cleaning out the wheel wells so this thing can be able to be driven up on the uh, road and it still has got a lot of mud on it. But got out of there and we are now safely back here at the mobile command center. And I'm going to show you off, show you some of the stuff that we got. It's all pretty good stuff. Now I'm not sure what some of the stuff is, some of it I know what it is. This is agatized. And you saw what we picked up, some of those small agates, but there's some bigger stuff here. And stuff pretty cool, isn't it? And this is like a porcelain jasper. Let's look at this bigger one here. And let's see about getting it. There we go. Now, this is weathered. So it's going to be a little bit lighter on the inside. And there's kind of a hint of it right there. Let's get that wet. So this material here is going to lighten right up once you start working it. Because the outside is a pretty weathered. More agate. A little tumbler. I threw that one in there. Nice piece of agate there. That one there will slab up and we'll see about making some cabochons out of the interior portion of that. Now this is a prime example. There was a lot of this material up there. But the red is weathered. But this right here which kind of gives us an indication of what's to come underneath of it. Really just a beautiful material today. Now this one here is kind of confusing because you got a seam of jasper right there. And look at that on the other side where I chipped it. Now I'm not exactly sure what to call some of this stuff. So I am still a novice at rock identification. There's more of this jasper. A little tumbler. A 
but it was fun today. We had a lot of fun picking up some material and then getting out of there. Let's take a look at this here. Pretty sweet looking stuff. Now this is weathered. This black is just from the is from nature. I mean, just from the weather stuff. But that's agate underneath there, and that's what was caught our attention. Another big old chunk of agate. Let's put this on top and spray this one down. Maybe we don't know. This one may require cut to find out what's really on the inside. Christmas again. Christmas via rockhounds. And for some of you may say, oh, this is low quality stuff. Well, then you can leave. I already had that battle with somebody online in my channel saying that stuff I collected was low quality. Well, you know, sorry I'm not an elitist. We go out there to have fun, and if you don't like what we collect, you don't need to watch. Nice piece of agate right there. Because you may not find the premier material, but you're having fun in the process, and that's what's and that's what's important. Let me see here. Now that one's interesting. Nice piece of jasper right there. And again, this is all going to lighten up because of the weathering on the outside. It'd be fun for us to get some. Now, this was an interesting piece of agate. Not much I'm going to be able to do with it due to, it's due to that big cavity right there. But that side, I might be able to pull some slabs off of it. It all depends on the cracks and how many cracks are in it. More pretty material. Another so-so one. But that there might be something in there that's worth messing with. Apologize for the road noise. Next few videos we're going to have to deal with it. So you got an idea. Pretty much that's a good sample of what we got today. In addition, you saw all the smaller stuff that we picked up, as well as the stuff that I picked up through in the bucket up there on the hill. We got a good sampling of, of the, what the area has to offer. A lot of material to work and a lot of material to have fun with. And we may go back for more. I don't know. Got some private property we got some access to. We're going to go hit pretty hard. I think this is bone, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to have the fossil man take a look at this and see what he thinks. So. There's blue. It's neat. And there's a lot more smaller stuff. Here's a bigger one. But mostly, mostly small stuff left in here. Tumblers. See, there's little tumbler pieces. And as most of you know, there's hardly anything in a rock that goes to waste with me. If I cut it, all the spare pieces, all the parts, all the parts, blah, 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 if I could talk, all of the trimmings get put through the tumbling process as well. Because I don't like wasting stuff now. There's stuff that may go out to the flower bed. Ooh, that's pretty cool, isn't that? There's stuff that may go out to the flower beds, and that's okay too. 
Everybody does it. Okay. Ooh, look at the blue. Yeah, it was look blue inside, but it's white. It's still cool. See, I can't help myself. I gotta keep showing. More tumblers. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go as I keep showing this stuff here. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine out doing some good rock counting in Southeast Oregon. This is the Adventures of Josh Jr. Have a good one, everybody. Please just have a good one. God, that's going to be pretty, isn't it? See ya!